Tell a friend to tell a friend The do it all haul is in. And we're back with another NBA 2K23 next gen build video. And today I have a special lockdown build for you guys. This build will be able to finish. You get the contact dunks, the gold limiters takeoff. You will be able to shoot with this build. You get the playmaking, gold clamp breaker, gold quick first step. And you already know that defense all the chain. So make sure you watch the video to the end so I can show you this masterpiece. We are going to shooting guard position, shoot the hand of your choice, and the jersey number of your choice. Let's get it, man. But before I go any further, you already know what time it is, man. Like button time. Hit that like button. Get this video to 100 likes as you can see we are going six foot six with this build 188 on the weight 73 wingspan slight body shape let's get into the build we're going to go ahead and start with the finishing because the finishing is very important when you see a lockdown you automatically think that a lockdown has defense and finishing so with this build yes we do have some finishing man we have an 86 driving dunk that does give us that goal limit to take off as you guys can see which is very important in my opinion for the driver layup we're going to take that up to an 80 so we can get some good layup animations now you can go back and change anything you want to change on this build this is just what i did it's a blueprint so don't take this stuff personal man a lot of people take these builds personal and they say oh well this person don't have this this person don't have that man it's a game so don't take it personal okay for the close shot we're going to take that to a 67 for the standing dunk we're going to get that to a 65, and as you guys can see, we do get 17. Do it all hard. Why you choose 17 for the number? Okay, 17 is the number because we want gold limitless takeoff. Simple as that. If you don't want gold limitless takeoff, that's fine. Don't, don't worry about getting it to 17, but in order for you to get gold limitless takeoff, you need 17 total badges, right? So we'll go with gold limitless takeoff, slithery, posterizer, fast twitch, fearless. So that's 7, 13, 19, 22, 26 and you know op it's optional to use acrobat and uh, rise up that's totally up to you guys but um the main badge i want you to use is the limited takeoff slithery post rise fast twitch fearless like i said everything else after that is just icing on the cake but let's go ahead and get it to the green bean make your girl screen badge this bill does have an 81 three-point shot didn't want to go too high on the three-point shot man we just wanted some three-point shooting or if you don't want the 93 and d2 guard you can take it down to a 79 that's where i had it at first but i didn't want people crying in the comments saying the 79 is too low so i took it to an 81 okay with that 81 we do get gold catch and shoot and somebody was saying that corner specialists don't work you know my, my take on certain things is that you know if, if if you feel like something worked for you no matter who doing tests and all that stuff and saying oh the badge is is useless you know what i'm saying like the badge don't even activate at like it should you know i i don't i don't i don't buy into all that i just do what i do you know what i'm saying and people are going to do what they do and that's just what it is man i don't try to um um you know um just break into someone else's mind and tell them what they should or shouldn't be doing. I let people make their own decisions, okay? For the mid-range shot, we're going to take leave that at a 69. And the free throw is a 66. And as you can see, we get 16 other things. So me personally now, I still use corner specialists. No matter what, I use corner specialists. You can say it work, you can say it don't work, it don't matter to me. Um, I use catch and shoot. Um, Claymore, amp, uh, slippery out ball, I also use that badge. And everything got to that is pretty much icing on the cake, man. It's up to you guys after that. So uh, make sure you're choosing your badges wisely. You have to pay attention to the uh, badge layout because, um, well, not the badge layout, but the where, where the badges are located. Because when you have different heights, your badges are in different spots, okay? So pay attention to that. But let's go ahead and get into the sauce. But before we do, I need you guys to do me a huge favor, right? Go down there, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that share button, and let the video play to the end because that will push the video to the recommended page so everybody mama can see this video. And I need everybody mama to see the video. So do that for your boy, boy. Speed with ball, we're going to take that to a 76. That's the point to where we get the extra bad. So we're going to leave it right there. On the ball handle, we're going to get that up to 87 because we want that gold quick first step. We want gold clamp breaker. We want that gold hyperdrive, gold unplug button. If you pay attention, um, hyperdrive is tier two. Normally, it's tier one okay with, with a lot of heights it's tier one but for this particular build it is tier two so pay attention to that for the pass accuracy we're gonna just do a 70 on that you know you can take a high if you want to that's totally up to you keep in mind this is a lockdown this shouldn't be your secondary ball handler even though you are technically the secondary ball handler a 70 pass accuracy should be okay for you to get the ball to your teammates but your team shouldn't depend on you to be the primary ball handler. I'm just saying. Okay, so with those 19 badges, I would most definitely go with handler for days and clamp breaker. Those are two very important badges. And unpluggable is normally tier three for a lot of builds, but for this build, it's tier two. Okay, uh, hyperdrive is a badge I would use. Quick first step, of course. We'll throw in needle thread. We'll throw in anchor break, and everything after that is pretty much icing on the cake. So make sure you choose the badges that work for you. Okay, just like the person said, 
corner specials don't work well hell the bass pop up i guess you know that 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 means something to me you know what i'm saying when the bass pop up but you know a lot of people they're gonna watch 2k labs and they're gonna watch 2k toots and all that old bull crap which i don't watch them you know what i'm saying i just do my own thing and i go out there and play for myself and that's just what it is but let's go ahead and get to the defense right so with the uh, interior defense we're gonna take that to a 55 uh, nothing to talk about with that Perimeter defense is a 92 that does allow us to get that gold clamps as you guys can see. So you will be able to slow some people down on the perimeter. That's very important when you are creating these builds and you go right there and you want to have certain animations. Like in, in my opinion, you shouldn't be able to get certain animation without the attributes. Okay, because if you if you can't if you don't have the attributes, you don't get the badges. Okay, so it don't even make sense for certain people to get animations. You know, I kind of scratch my head a lot of times when I see that and it really bother me that certain people get animation that they shouldn't get and you know that's something i think they need to change on the game for the steel we're going to take that up to a 95 that does give us um gold intercept and gold glove two very important badges that i think everybody would enjoy on a build like this because those two badges do take you to another level in my opinion and if you got those badges on your build you're looking pretty good okay for the block, we're going to take that to a 75. That does allow us to get gold chase down artists on the build like this. We also get anchor, and anchor is tier 2, so that's pretty good, man. You know, you can get anchor tier 2, um, and you can get pogo tier 1, man. That's pretty good, in my opinion. Now, on the rebound, we're going to take the defense rebound to a 69. That does give us 25 total badges on the defense, and that does allow us to get some wiggle room when it comes to choosing certain badges, right? So, of course, we want clamps, intercept the glove, that's 21. We'll go with chase down artists on gold, that's 26. We'll go with anchor, that's 29. And we'll go with pogo, that'll be 30. You know, we got 25, we'll still get a plus 7, so that'll put us at 32 either way it go. So, uh, we're looking pretty good on defense. Look at the combination, though, 17, 16, 19 to 25, not bad. So, what I did was I took the acceleration to 85, and the speed is an 80. Strength 42, vert 75, and the rest is on stamina. Now let's get into these takeovers. So we have big lock, sharp shooting, shot creating. Okay, shot creating and finishing. Not bad takeover, man. Are you ready? Because guess what? I do not clickbait. Here we go, here we go, here we go now. We do have shades of OG, <laughs> Eddie Jones, and we got Anthony Ellis. I swear, man. Those two right there pop up almost every single time when i'm creating bills on nba 2k 23 man don't make no sense i'm happy to get anthony Edwards because that's a switch up man because eddie jones and og always pop up man so 2k please change that for nba 2k 24 man we need a bunch of names and we need a bunch of bill names you know what i'm saying new bill name you feel me we out of here Ta